Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing another international sandwich of history. This time we're heading down to Chile for the Barros Luco sandwich. Uh, it's named after Chilean President Ramon Barros Luco, and he was president between 1910 and 1915, and this is supposedly one of his favorite sandwiches. Here's the thing. It calls for a specific roll, a marraqueta, and uh, I don't have a Chilean bakery near me, so that means we got to do some baking. We'll see how this goes. As is typically the case when baking, we start off with warm water, add in our yeast, and sugar. And let that sit for 10 minutes. And if you're thinking that was a lot of sugar to put in the water, you're right. Because it wasn't sugar, I accidentally put in salt, so I had to start over. Uh, salt now goes and gets mixed with our flour. Now we take our foamy mixture and mix it into the flour. Gets to a certain point, you just gotta use your hands. And now we're to knead it for eight minutes. Okay, now into an oiled bowl for 30 minutes to let it rise. Our dough has uh, risen, and now we need to bust these out into three and a half ounce balls. See if I can get it. Ooh, a little much. Okay, so I saw this technique on YouTube where this guy does this to tuck the underside of the roll together. And then does this palm circular thing to get it into a nice round ball. Now we cover them again and let them sit for 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and here's the odd part. We're supposed to kind of join them together. <laughs> Not 100% sure how this works. Not gonna lie, this is probably where this recipe is gonna go wrong for me. <laughs> then we uh, put a dent pretty deeply into it. We turn it over and we let it proof for 20 minutes. Then into a 450 degree oven for about 18 minutes. If I were to give myself a grade on it, I'd probably say, I don't know, B minus. Anyway, let's cut it open, see how we did. Hey, it fell apart. Oh well, we'll live. Now we have to butter each one and we put them in a pan to toast. So we whack in a little butter and thin slices of steak. And we flip it over and then buttery cheese. And the person I got this recipe from recommended a Havarti, so that's what I'm using. And we put that on our bread. Should be one long piece, but since I broke the roll in two, what the heck. Okay, let's give this Barros Luco a go. Epically straightforward, but quite tasty. I am going to plus it up a little bit, though. I'm going to add on to it some pebre, which is a Chilean... I don't know, kind of a salsa. Uh, I made this over on Barry Cook's TikTok, and it's kind of a cross between pico de gallo and chimichurri. I think it's gonna be really good, and it's Chilean, so it's on it's on theme. Okay, let's give this plast up Barros Luco sandwich a go. Okay, so for me, that just elevated. Because like I said, you get red wine vinegar punch, garlic, jalapeno, tomato and cilantro. For the original um, Barros Luco sandwich, I'm gonna go ahead and give a nine to. I mean, meat, cheese, butter, bread, yeah, any day. But if you add that pepre Chilean salsa, oh my God, that's a 10. That is so delicious. It's bright, refreshing, rich, delicious. Yeah, that's good. I am finishing that. And if you're interested in making it either the roll or the sandwich, you can find both recipes at midiariodecocina.com. All right, see you tomorrow. On ball. And we do that with all four. All five, how did I get five? <laughs> uh, of course I got five, it's supposed to be making two buns.